I, I wanted to briefly go over a blog I wrote last week um, for first-time home sellers. We tend to um, focus on first-time home buyers and helping them prepare and get ready to buy their first home that we forget they're going to be first-time home sellers down the line. So it's important to give them the same courtesy and the same tips and tricks of the trade to make sure that they have um, just as successful a transaction on that, that side of the table. So with that in mind, here are some don'ts. Um, that I have put together for first-time home sellers to take into consideration. Number one, don't set your list price too high. Um, the market dictates the value of your home. Uh, comparative market analysis will show you where homes have sold, where homes are selling, um, and um, where homes did not sell. So you always want to take that into consideration. And when you're looking at a comparative market analysis, You'll look at similar homes within your neighborhood or within a few blocks or out as far as a mile if you have to, to keep it comparable. But you keep it in as close as you possible and the most recent sales. So you want to take that into consideration when setting your list price. Also, setting your list price too high will generate no interest, um, or I guess will not generate any interest. And um, that could affect you in the long run because ultimately, you'll have to lower the price down to where you should have listed it in the first place. So that's number one. Number two is not to get too emotional in the process. Um, it's so easy because there are so many bumps that can pop up uh, throughout a real estate transaction uh, that it's important to stay focused on the transaction itself and remember that it is a business transaction. Um, the memories, the love of your home, all of that go with you um, in your mind and in your heart. They don't go with the house. So keep that in mind and keep it business. Number three, don't use shoddy photos. Um, a lot of times you'll see online, uh, mainly it's with for sale by owner homes, but you'll see these photos where someone just walked around a house and went snap, 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 um, and didn't take any care into making a bed, putting clothes up, decluttering, anything. And you want your home to look gorgeous. You want your home to shine when someone goes online to look at it because that's the first glimpse they have. Um, most people start the home buying process online. And to get your home on a list of homes to be seen firsthand, they need to look nice. So declutter. Um, have uh, your kitchen sparkly, shiny, cleany without all the junk all over the counters. Uh, make sure your pillows look nice on your sofas. Make sure the lighting is correct. Make sure all of your beds are made. And when I say beds are made, don't just throw the bed spread up over the pillows. Really make them. Make your home look glorious. It helps so much. Um, you know, you can do so many things um, to help your home stand out apart from the competition. Number four, and it kind of ties to that. Um, don't let the mess ta overtake your house. Once you decide you're going to sell your house and get ready to take your photos, I always recommend that you have a professional housekeeping service come in and clean it. Or you clean it if you like to clean, but make it look beautiful and then keep it that way. The easiest way to keep it that way is to clean as you go. Um, you know, instead of just throwing the basket of clean laundry on the bed, fold it and put it away. Um, you know, put your shoes up, keep your kitchen clean, uh, vacuum every other day if you have to. But if you do a little bit along the way, you never have a messy house. And maybe even you develop a nice new habit of being neat and tidy. Who knows? Um, number five, don't hide any problems. Um, when I say that, if you try to hide problems, number one, you are um, kind of getting in trouble a little bit. Uh, homeowners are supposed to disclose all material facts. There's a home seller's property disclosure that has to be filled out uh, by every uh, homeowner listing their home for sale. Um, so you want to list everything. Uh, you know, even if you fixed it, if there was a leak, note that there was a leak but that you have fixed it uh, you do need to disclose everything so don't try to hide anything because an inspector is going to find it no matter how small a home inspector will find every issue um, so be careful on that honesty is the best policy uh, number six don't forget the curb appeal 
uh, curb appeal is everything. That, uh, you know, Bob and Sandy are driving around on Saturday afternoon looking at houses and um, they're going through neighborhoods to pick a neighborhood they like and boom, they see a for sale sign in your yard, but you got, you know, trash cans sitting out, you got dead plants, you got, you know, a broken shutter, things like that. They're going to go right by it. It could be perfect on the inside, but the outside does not uh, look as though it is neat inside. So they're going to go right by it. So just make sure your curb appeal is there. Um, landscaping and everything. And you um, will garner more interest. And then lastly, and probably my favorite, is don't sell your house without a licensed realtor. I mean, it's your first time. It's worth its weight in gold uh, to have someone help you along with the process. Um, agents understand all of these lists that I've just given you. They help you get your house ready to sell. Uh, they also help you throughout the transaction from showings to writing contracts to negotiating to everything. And it really helps you out to make sure you adhere to all the deadlines, that you adhere to everything needed in the sales transaction so that you get to the closing table and um, hand the keys over to someone else. So those are some steps to take into consideration. Uh, if you have any questions, you can um, see all my contact information below. Um, I've also provided a link to this blog so you can um, read it in a little bit more detail and comment. Um, but please like it, please subscribe, and um, I'll come back with something else. Anyway, if you're thinking about listing your home and you are um, wanting to talk to a locally uh, licensed realtor in Manatee County, you know how to get in touch with me again, look below, and um, maybe we can work together. I look forward to hearing from you and have a great week. Bye.